now on Channel 3 North East, Disbelief for Joan in Quayside. I'm going to meet her. I'll finish it. And you'll tell her about us? Yeah. What you will want. I'm definite. You only go for yuppies now, I've heard. And what do you know, eh? You'd be surprised. Love her, boy. Still the best thing that's happened to me. Nicole. I mean it. I don't want to spoil things. It's too important. You won't finish it with her, so I'm finishing it with us. Hang on. I mean it. You're overreacting. Just go. Ma catches you. You're dead. Ma's not going to catch. He's busy himself. Stop it, Carl. You know what he's up to, do you? I mean it. I mean, there's other lass. You asked us to get engaged. I didn't mean for it to happen. Oh, shut up. About. I've got it some of that food she was wanting. I'll make it for Etty. Wow, well, is Nicole about? She won't be back for her tea. What? She's left. I'm not asking you to say it's all right. But can you not understand? She came to our house. It was right at her new nose. Mom, no. We're never... Not in the house. We brought you up to be... to make the best of what you had. Not just hanging in there till something better came along. It wasn't like that. So go on, then. You tell us what it was like. I can imagine your dad's up there listening and all. Well, go on. You wouldn't understand. That's the problem. Every time. If you can't get a decent serve in, you've had it. I mean, I should have taken a couple of games off you at least. Oi, sexy legs. I'll catch you up. Must be a mirage. I like to keep myself in trim. Since when? I'll ignore that. Sweating it out in the sauna, was it? Or a vigorous massage? Steph aerobics. It's a laugh, and it's a mixed class. Yeah? Why else do you think I go? Figures. You should try it. I'm sure Rosie prefer not to share a bed with this. We're just mates, you know. Like us? Yeah, that sort of thing. Well then, even more reason. A single bloke needs to look after himself. Especially if he's on the market. Don't rub it in. My mate's bigger than yours. All right, Cole? What's up, Cole? You should have gone. You excuse us. But we found her. He's just brought us back. Thanks very much. Now, would you mind waiting outside? Of course not, Mrs. Shepherd. We'll be outside. Just give us a shout if anyone else needs a lift. We found her wandering in the streets. OK. She could have caught hypothermia. All right. I can't speak for myself. <sighs> Some things I need. Hang on. Can we not just talk? I think that's the least you can do. Oh, shut up, man. Don't have a go at me. I'm not the one who's been mucking around with someone else. Look. You know who it was, don't you? 
Caitlin, the smart ass from the business. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and Mal's still your golden boy, isn't he? Can't put a foot wrong, can he? I've told you. No, shoot it. Violence. It's the only way you can deal with an argument, isn't it? Mal. I thought you wanted to talk. I'm sorry. Okay. Stop being like this, will you, man? Sorry. How long have you been seeing Caitlin for? It's over, me and her. How long? A month. Two. After we got engaged? Oh, yeah, definitely. But before he asked us to move in? Yeah. Why did you do it? I mean, if we'd just been going out, I might have... But living together. Talking about getting married. I know. I knew there was something wrong when he took us for that meal. I thought maybe it was the way I was acting. Is that what it was? Did you think I was common? Well, no, of course not. And Caitlin isn't this year. She's got her own business and everything. I was trying, you know. Look, man, it's not your fault. None of it was. It's just me. I've changed. But if you talk to us, man, if I had a clue what you were thinking... At least I would have had a chance. It's over. Me and her. Too late, Mal. Why didn't you tell us you'd seen him? Privileged information, mate, man. Could have come in very useful. Well, I didn't really know you then, man. You might have just gone and shot your mouth off. Aye, aye. Here comes Mr. Loverboy. I'm told I shouldn't stay here. The least I can do. Ma'am? How's she doing? She's taking it well. That's what you think, is it? You? Can I come in? I thought I'd made myself clear. She knows. And? Well, I thought that's what you wanted. Well, it... it, it was. Can I come in, then? I can't think straight. Where is she? She's at the bungalow. My mum's looking after her. How did you take it? Must have been awful. It was. Look, I'm going to have to stay here. Excuse me? What? I, I might want to stay on that. Well, I've got to stay somewhere. And if it wasn't for your Rosie... Rosie, what's she got to do with it? Rosie told Nicole, did she? I thought you knew. You couldn't even do it yourself. I wanted to. I finished with you because I didn't trust you. I didn't know whether you were serious. I am. No, you're not. You're only here because you haven't got Nicole. That's not true. I've been worrying, you know, about whether I made the right decision. I shouldn't have bothered, should I? You're a waste of time. Go on, get out. And don't come back. I used to stop for breakfast in the same spot every day. And soon it came apparent that my brakes had too much play. The specialist who checked them was a master of his craft. And once he gave me the, my stopping distance half. If you're worried about your brakes, 
Get them checked by a qualified quick fit brake specialist. We only fit guaranteed quality parts, and with our brake safe service, you always get great value prices. You can't get better than a quick fit fitter. We're the ones to trust. If you soak your dentures, what would get you to switch to brushing with Denture Cream? If it got my dentures really clean. In just 90 seconds, Denture Cream's improved formula removes even the toughest stains from your dentures. If it got them really fresh. Denture Cream tastes minty fresh. Clean. Fresh. Denture Cream, clean and fresh in just 90 seconds. New Polygrip Ultra holds dentures more firmly than ever and keeps out irritating bits of food. It's perfect on any plate. Go. Yeah, I'll just get a change. Well, thanks a lot. Any time you like. Hey, there's no better job than for putting off men. If that's them courting, what are going to be like at home? That's the terrible thing about men. Once you've slept with them, it's all downhill. Me and Michael ladies, my sister and... Well, her fella. We're just asking for grief. I'll tell you what I fancy. I've seen it in loads of films. One of them planets where it's all women, but they capture some good-looking blokes every now and then. <laughs> They've always got great clothes. That's before the girls get started. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell yourself short. You've travelled loads. There's no place like home. Would you ever fancy taking your chances down in London? You know, Fleet Street. Hi, Mel. What's wrong with him? On top up, Carl? No. Just ask him. I did get an interview down there once, but, well, I wasn't good enough for them. So you gave up after that, did you? No point forcing yourself on people. It's one way of looking at it. The other is you must have had something to get an interview. Maybe next time you go all the way. All right, Dad. Hi, Mum. Yeah, I never were with you. Oh, sorry, it must be something left over from the band night. All right, handsome? He's talking to me. Dead right I am. You got any ripped clothes? Happy now, are you? What? Prove what a good person you are. <laughs> hey, I don't know what you're on about. Oh, come on, man. I'm not that daft. You're the one who caught me and Caitlin together. You're the one with the principles. You're the one who doesn't think I'm good enough for your boss. Hang on. So you decided to tell Nicole all about it? No. <laughs> I mean... You might hate men, but did it not occur to you how much you'd hurt Nicole? Hang on. You're trying to blame me for Nicole? You couldn't resist sticking your oar in, could you? I was going to tell that myself. I didn't tell Nicole. Oh, don't start lying now, man. You've caused enough trouble as it is. I don't believe this. I've caused trouble, have I? It wasn't me doing the two-timer, as I recall. You're full of principles, aren't you? And to hell with the consequences. Sounds like you're the one who didn't think about the consequences. What's brought this on? Complaining, are you? No, no. Well, don't take too long deciding. I might change my mind. Who is it? All right, man. Come in. Have a seat. How's tricks? Uh, fine. Glad to hear it. There's something I can do for you. I was thinking... I've been here a long time. Maybe it's time I was moving on. What's brought on this on? Well, just, you know... But to do what? Spot the brain surgery. Atomic research. Nah, I just need a change. Carl, you are crafty. All right. Another 50 pence an hour. It's not that, boss. 75. All right. A quid. Deal? Thanks, Ma. Yeah, just worried there for a minute. I'm gonna fall out with you and her. What a day I've had. 
fancy a beer or two later on? No, I'm off it now. Well, orange juice. Is... No, I've got to get back. Thanks, well, Bob. Could have had a chat. Some of the time, then. You're bored. Are you sure about that? Do you want to run along and check it with the boss? Go away. Before I do something, I might regret. Take me to your leader. Come you? on, calm down. Calm. Howie. Come on. Howie. What's the matter with him? See him again. Are you wearing them now? Yeah. I don't know how long we can keep them on. Not a word to Rosie, though. Nothing to do with me. I don't want any problems. I just want to pick up. Everything all right? Yeah. You're taking your time. You know, it's Nicole I feel sorry for. You mean you fancy her? No. Hi. Is uh, that the one the locals drink? Uh, yeah. Well, just a half of them, please. I'm terribly sorry. This is all I've got. Just visiting, are you? Yeah. Just for a couple of days on business. It's a fantastic place, Newcastle. Of course it is. Capital of the world, this one. Great accent. Cheers. You were uh, on your Todd, are you? Uh, let me translate to you by yourself. Oh, right. Yeah, I am. Look, do you want a drink? Lovely. No, don't mind me. You'll get off if you want. I don't. There's nothing on the telly anyway. Let's have another drink. I can't. Really, I can't. I see. There's no need to feel guilty. If you want to go running once your clicks are fingers, it's up to you. Can you do us a favour? Can I stop at your place tonight? Any other night, Ma. You're joking, aren't you? It's just difficult. What? Has Rosie been saying something like? What? No, it's not her. It's Susie. What? You're on a promise? Yes. But can I stay or not? Ma! Please! All right. But you better get yourself some of your plugs. Suspenders. Hey, you want to see this place at the weekend, man? It's heaven. Yeah? I've heard you Georgies really know how to enjoy yourselves up here. Well, that's what life's for, man, isn't it? Absolutely. Hey, what's going on? I'm not spending the evening with a 24-carat plonker. Will you ever learn, man? Look, I haven't got time to explain. Just agree with everything I say, right? I'd, uh, I'd take it all the best clubs, just... Oh, never mind. Hey, what's the problem? Well, it... It's just I'm on the door, you know? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Don't worry. I know what it's like up here. My treat, OK? Yeah, nice one. <laughs> no, really, I'm fine. Good. Ma was in a right straw. I thought you'd be in a state. No. He's been round, you know. What did he say? The usual. Now when he calls out the picture, let's get married. <laughs> well, I exaggerate. Anyway, I said no. But did he tell you I told Nicole? Yeah. Uh, but I didn't. I don't mind. It's for the best. But I didn't. It wasn't me. Not that Ma believes us. So it wasn't you? No. Oh, well, what does it matter anymore? Are you sure? hundred percent. Put it down to experience, eh? Very philosophical. So who else would have told? Probably one of his low-life mates. Heard him bragging about you? No, he wouldn't. Anyway, you're well out of it. Yeah, in the clear. Two schemes like this at Rain Court, costing the Salvation Army £7,000 a well, year. Pop out, okay? Unless they get outside funding, the courses will have to stop next year. Well, it is difficult nowadays because all statutory authorities are. I'll not be long. Uh, all right? First strings, they have very tight budgets. Um, Hey, it's the perfect example of the post-industrial era, don't you think? A once busy river, now the site for a floating disco. You know, I never really thought of it like that. Tell you what, lads, you've really made my trip up here. Uh, what is it you do? 
computers. They're expensive ones. Really? Actually, that's funny, cos uh, Luke here is looking for a job. No, I'm not. You're gonna have to make your mind up whether you're in or out. I'm working for him. Just do as I say, right? And when the time comes, you're gonna have to make your mind up. On the waterfront, eh? I could have been a contender. You could have fooled me. That was in the old days. The only contenders you get down here now are entrance for wine bar of the month. <laughs> <laughs> Lads, it's been great. Hey, it's all right, we'll see you back to your hotel. Fix you up with a lass if you want. <laughs> 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 you two want a cup of tea then? No. On second thoughts, I think we'll have an early night. <laughs> Are you sure? Uh, yeah, thanks. It's a shame you've had to move out. Yeah, well, it's not for the best. You see... Don't worry, I won't pry. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how do you turn this on? Oh, you don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't want to get in the way, so just tell us where I'm keeping it. Eh? Here. Dan. Later. Cheers. You better come up. Do you want one? No, thanks, but help yourself. How would you like your chicken? Your leg or a breast, man. I'll fix you up with a lass. You're on. I've uh, heard they're pretty stunning up here. Great lasses, great football. What more can a man want, eh? Too right. I'll need your credit card. All right, but go easy on it. New outside lane, the switchboard must be down. Oh, well, never mind. I was, I was feeling quite knackered anyway, actually. But help yourself to another drink. Hey, look at this. Dirty films. Same difference, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's stick one on. Let us, were you? You and Mal? Stupid tart doesn't know what's going on. No, I wasn't. I might be common. I might be thick. But at least I don't go around nicking other people's blokes. I don't sink that low. Look, whatever's happened in the past, it's over. Oh, on to the next one, is it? Look, you can't just walk away from something like this. I don't think this is going to get us anywhere. All them modelling jobs. They meant a lot to me, you know. Gave us confidence. And now I know it was just part of your scheming little plan. Those jobs had nothing to do with me. They were Rose's idea. Oh, and I'm supposed to believe you, am I? It's true. You can't just separate things off like that. You're a two-faced cow through and through. I don't know what Miles said. Don't you dare mention his name. It hurt me, too. He obviously had a lot of feelings for you. Couldn't make up his mind. Yeah, only because you put him in an impossible position. Oh, and he had nothing to do with it. He's a typical bloke. If it's put on his plate, you'll eat it. You're not angry with him at all, are you? And you think I'd tell you if I was? That is between me and my ex fiance Call yourself posh? I wouldn't let people like you in the sewer. You'd scare off the rats. <laughs> Susie! <laughs> <laughs> Oh! <laughs>
Keyside will be back in two weeks' time. Stay with us now for crime-busting action on the streets of Sun Hill with the Bill.